Well, we've reached the end of another year. Now, Margaret, before we talk about our favourite films and TV shows of 2019, I've got some interesting figures for you. Between the two of us, we've reviewed 139 films and 85 TV shows this year. Incredible. But out of all that, which are the ones that really stood out for you? I can't believe we watched it. Yes, it is. It is. Look, for Mommy's me, awesome. the, the film of the year was, was absolutely Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Tarantino. I think it is, it's absolutely superb. His love of cinema just shines out of it. Fabulous performance. Well, I'd agree with that. Oscar nominated. Up, up to a point, but it is fantastic, one of my favourites. But I thought Little Women, which we've just reviewed, was also fantastic. A totally different film without any violence. Yeah. You know, absolutely beautifully made and certainly a, an Oscar contender. Oh, I think that a lot of the films that we've reviewed yes. recently, because I think The Gentleman, Guy Ritchie's film, oh, is going to be yes. up there too. I mean, in terms of uh, Australian films, I mean, I'm just wearing my heart on, on a sleeve now. The King, for me, was the best film of the year. I think what David Michaud did with his and Joel's uh, screenplay was extraordinary. I still haven't seen that. I'm wanting to catch up with that at Christmas. Don't miss it. No, I won't. It's fabulous. What about you? Uh, well, um... Did you like Parasite? Oh, the, Parasite was fantastic. Yes, the that Bong was so Joon clever. Ho. A it's, black comedy, that yeah. was knockout. But, but in a very different form or a style, I, I love the Aretha Franklin uh, feature documentary, Amazing, Amazing Grace. Grace. Yes. To see that footage and to listen to her sing in that era, that was just sublime, I thought. But, but also sublime and in a very different way and on a totally different level. There are a couple of rather small budget Australian films that yeah. really touched me and moved me. There was Emu Runner, yeah. that beautiful film about the young girl who wants to race the, the emu. The small budget, sort of what we used to call picnic filmmaking. Well, well where the under community $2 million. Just yes. beautifully done. And Buoyancy, yeah. um, the film about the pirate trade and uh, the fishing in Thailand and so on. That was, and that might be a little bit of a sort of possible Oscar contender as well. Superbly done. Well, we have we wait and see, but you know, there are just a couple of small American films. Mid 90s, Jonah Hill's debut feature, I thought was really smart and really well done. And I love Sisters Brothers. You know, it's sort of like extraordinary that this film from this Canadian writer, Patrick DeWitt, taken up by John C. Riley and just made into this wonderful, wonderful, bizarre Western. Jesus Christ! What is your goddamn problem? What about TV? Well, I think, you know, Total Control, for me, is absolutely a standout. Hasn't Television drama Rachel this Perkins year. come as a director? What, what an absolute fine director she's, she is. And... She is really reaching her stride, yeah. you know. She's a, a, I'm so pleased for all of them. Wonderful actually. performances. But I think Lambs of God yes. was also extraordinary. Well, I don't think as we've well. ever produced anything quite like that in Australia before. It was no, kind of it's really magic well realism and a thriller and a mystery. There's yeah. so many elements to it. Jeffrey Walker again. We've mentioned yeah. his name a few times lately. And He's fabulously everywhere. designed and oh, cast. The Hunting was pretty good. SBS. The SBS. That yeah. was a shocking, you know, series in so many ways. So confronting and so touching and uh, you know so pressing and so much of the time. Um, and uh, you know the. The little series on ABC, you can't ask that. Oh, the documentary series, that's uh, beautiful. I, I sort of resisted watching it, thinking it was exploited. If it's not, it's no. revelatory. It was just sort of like mind-bogglingly <laughs> informative. And as a format, it's been picked up all around the world. It just shows how innovative yeah. we can be you know, in the format area as yeah. well, I think. Uh, what about years and years? Yes, I think that's... Splendid. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that through to the end. Yes. But in its own way, yes. extraordinarily entertaining. Yes. <laughs> but how frightening is it in but its I, dystopian what view? What about Mister In Between? Oh, you yes. Know, Nash Edgerton, Scott International Ryan. star made of Scott Ryan in that yes, now. And, and, you know, Nash Edgerton's not doing too badly either as no. a director creator. I mean, it's um, just really, really well done. And you can see Nash, you know, really. It, what doing a series does is, you know, gives the, you know, your craft a chance to practice itself over and over again. And this is what I think has happened with Rachel as well. Another crafty series at the highest level is Succession. The second series of that, I think, was possibly the most talked about with years and years television show of the uh, year. Uh, coruscating, extraordinarily funny, the most vile characters possible. Oh, but yummy. characters for, for whom you feel the most great, the greatest affection <laughs> at the same time. And, and uh, so up, up to the, one of those grab from the headline series. Absolutely uh, superb. Now I know what I'm going to watch over summer. 
Everybody, stay in your lane. No! Stop! Security! Back off! This is executive level business! We're coming up to the finishing line. Know your role. And remember, money wins. Here's to us.